I think this is the same elephant that James and Zunda had a close encounter with the other day. Beautiful. Oh, he's huge. Absolutely huge. Hi, boy. Hello, boy. Hi. Hello. You totally have my full respect. Big boy. Absolutely. Hello, boy. Hello. All right. Okay. Hi, my boy. Hello, boy. Hello, my boy. Thank you, boy. There is nothing in the world that describes a feeling like that. Oh, the smell of him. Heavy, heavy, heavy must. Now, I don't know if you could see, that must have been one of the biggest elephants that I've seen since I've started working in the Sabi Sand. He's huge. He is absolutely, oh my goodness, there's more on the way. He is absolutely huge. I mean, when he stood, he blocked out the sun completely. Massive tusks truly absolutely beautiful and so relaxed he towered over us but it was just to tell us that he's the boss that's all it was it wasn't aggressive did you hear the rumble could you hear that rumble Jandre when he came up to us a beautiful deep rumble I don't know if he was talking to us or if he was talking to the rest of the herd and he was talking I like to think it was to us. Very clearly telling us to mind our business. Hello, big boy. What happened to you? Now, funnily enough, sometimes the balls that are not in must are actually the ones that are slightly more tricky because they're being pushed around by the other big must balls and they want to show how big and scary they are. Hello, big boy. How's it? You're also huge. I can't describe this feeling. It is like any bad thing in the world. Every problem that we have has just become insignificant. Not I mean, obviously I'm not trying to belittle any problems. But at the same time, there's something that, there's a sense of peace that elephants convey, even when they're towering over you. And I can still smell him that big bull. He's in must. It is a state of a heightened testosterone and now they've just spread out. They came racing across the road and the whole herd has just spread out to sit and feed. <laughs>